for the first time ever, in DaVinci Resolve, I have a problem that DaVinci Resolve itself cannot fix. And this is down to relinking media offline. The obvious way to do this is to go to your master project, right click and relink all clips for select bin. Usually you can just go to the project that you want to do this on, click to the assets folder where you've got your assets and then press open and it should find all the matching media. In this case, it can't, even though I know it's all there. So if I press search, I'll allow it to do the comprehensive search just to give it every opportunity possible to link. As you can see, it says that 17 clips cannot be found, but there are many, many more clips that it's not finding and something is clearly wrong. Usually, if you're very unlucky, it will occasionally have an issue relinking one or two pieces of media. And in that case, you can just click on the red item that has missing media, click on find in media pool, and then right click on the item and you can replace it. So you can go to swish transition, zero two, zero two, and you can effectively replace the file, which will relink it to this new file, even though it's the same file, you get the idea. But we do not want to be doing that for every single asset that is on our timeline. It would take me forever. So the solution, jump across into your media. The reason that we want to be in the media tab is because when we right click on clips, it gives us the ability to change the source folder. This is what's going to fix our problem, but only if we do it in a specific way. As far as I'm aware, you can only do change source folder for an individual folder. This is why I'm doing it within the swish folder versus the master because you have to do individual folders, but individual folders is significantly faster than individual assets. To find out what's gone wrong with this, I'm going to right click and do reveal in finder. This is gonna show me the file path that it currently has, and this is important. For some reason, in my case, it has doubled this up. You can see that we have live CSCS intro too, and then again, somewhere here, CSCS intro. It's weird, I'm not sure what's wrong, but regardless, what we want is to copy the existing file path, so highlight it and make sure you get everything apart from the actual asset name itself. Press Control or Command C, depending on what platform you're on, then press OK. Then make sure you have one of the items selected, press Command All or Control All, again, depending on what platform you're on, right click and do Change Source Folder. You need to change from and have the from folder. Then you need to go to the browse to and make sure that you are in the right place, which in my case for swoosh is swoosh transition. I'm gonna then press Open and you can see that we have change from and to, press Change. This is then going to update the file path for every single one of these items. I found sometimes that in order to actually get these to fully relink and update in DaVinci Resolve, you then have to right click on one of them, press open in Finder or Explorer if you're on Windows, and then it will take you to it. When you close this, it will then update all the ones it can find. If you do have some clips that don't relink, the likelihood is, is that they had a different initial file path. So just do the same process, select only the clips that still aren't linked, and try it again with those all connected. Remembering to make sure that you click on reveal in Finder and make sure that it's actually connected so that when you cross, hopefully it will then update the ones that are left. It's not quite perfect, but it is a significantly faster way of relinking media when for whatever reason, all your metadata is messed and you've got to do it manually. See you soon.